Welcome to Shanmugam Mice Academy. An editorial analysis of 28th January 2022. Uh, it comes from the Science and Technology portion from the UPSC syllabus of Mains and Prelims. The topic today is the global toll of bacterial resistance to drugs. This is what the topic here, and uh, which is very important because questions can be asked in Prelims and Mains both. So, what exactly is this we are going to study right now? So, why it is there? The brief introduction about this. What is this about? What is this editorial is about? And hundreds of thousands of deaths occur. Today, due to this previous treat, that is uh, treatable infection, actually the diseases are previously treatable, but thousands of deaths has been occurred. That is that has become an issue. That's why we are reading, we are studying this particular editorial. Treatable infections such as lower respiratory and bloodstream infections because the bacteria that cause them have become resistant to the treatment. This is the major thing here because those bacteria which cause those infections they have become. Resistant to the treatment. That is the global impact of the antimicrobial resistance. That is covering 204 territories. It was published by the the Lancet publication. They published this and they found that more than 1.27 million people have died in 2019. As a result of this antimicrobial resistance, what exactly is this antimicrobial resistance? We need to know first. So, antimicrobial resistance is that when a bacteria, fungus, virus, or the pathogens they change in some way that reduce the effectiveness of the antibiotics, they become resistance to the medicines. So that is what this antimicrobial resistance is about, and which is now leading cause of death worldwide, which is higher than the HIV or the malaria. right now and this is a burning issue now and what exactly is this about anti micro microbial resistance we'll uh, study now that is recently what happened the united nations has begun they considering this threat of this anti microbial resistance to that is this has been been par with the diseases like the ebola and hiv who told this this was told by the united nations and here this is how you can write an answer in the mains and the term antibiotic resistance is a subset of antimicrobial resistance or the amr that is the anti microbial resistant microbes occur naturally that are mostly found in the people animals food and the environment that is environment in the sense that is found commonly in the water soil and the air and they can spread between people and animals including from food of animal origin and from person to person so this is the way how they will spread people to animals it can spread persons to person it can spread and food of animal origin from this also they can spread and in adequately treated sewage waste this is also one of the major factor waste that is containing this resistant bacteria which mixes in the environment and also magnifies the burden of the antimicrobial resistance this inadequately treated sewage waste is also which is resistant to this bacteria and poor infection control that is inadequate sanitary conditions and inappropriate food handling encourage that is also helps in this spread of this antimicrobial resistance and other term the inappropriate use of medicines for example using of antibiotics for viral infections such as the flu and other thing in 2015 who that is world health organization has launched the global antimicrobial surveillance system shortly we will call that as the glass to work closely with the who which with the collaborating centers and the existing microbe antimicrobial resistance surveillance networks and the overview now we will study about the overview of antimicrobial resistance in india india is among the nations which is the highest burden of bacterial infections now now we have studied the Uh, before this we have studied about the antimicrobial resistance in the world now we are studying particularly about the overview of this amr in india so an estimated of more than 4 lakh children have under the age of 5 have died due to pneumonia in india and the crude mortality from infectious disease in india today is 417 per 1000 per 1 lakh persons and the food safety and standards authority of india that is shortly fssai banned the use of antibiotics and several pharmacological logically active substances in the fisheries in the fishery sector they ban this antibiotics and now other thing is there is no regulation in the poultry industry where many of the commercially available premixed feeds come with the added by antibiotics so there is no regulations in the 
poultry industry and what are the causes behind acquired antimicrobial resistance so one resist one cause is one of the cause is the overuse and misuse and improper use of this antimicrobials that is example the taking that is taking the antibiotics to treat viral diseases and second cause that is the greater access to over the counter antibiotic drugs in the developing countries third cause that is dumping the inadequately treated effluents from the pharmaceutical industry this is one of the major cause the inadequately treated effluents from the pharmaceutical industry and other thing the antibiotic use in the livestock that is feed as low doses for growth promotion in the industrialized countries to use this feed livestock feed low doses for the growth promotion in the industrialized countries and poor sanitation and hygiene is also one of the cause which forces the extended use of antimicrobials and the analysis the global research on antimicrobial resistance that shortly we will call it that as the gram report this report says the global research on antimicrobial resistance gram report which is given by the university of oxford which use the statistical model uh, modeling to estimate the deaths linked to 23 pathogens and 88 pathogen drug combinations and more than 7 lakh deaths have caused directly by this antimicrobial resistance and this antimicrobial resistance is a drug resistant infection that was implicated but resistance itself may may not have the direct cause of death example hiv aids uh, hiv or the aids and malaria which are estimated to have caused 8.6 lakh uh, deaths in uh, respectively in 2019 and of the 23 those pathogens which was given in the report the global research on antimicrobial resistance report they said that among these 23 pathogens some of the drug resistance are the six pathogens that are e coli that is escherichia coli the k pneumonia s pneumonia s aureus a baumani and p aeruginosa led directly 9.2 lakh deaths so these terms the e coli s aureus k pneumonia s pneumonia a baumani p or uh, aeruginosa these all the major drug resistance in this thing these names you need to uh, keep in mind because they can ask this in co prelims and one of the pathogen drug is the methyl uh, methicillin resistant s aureus and how these antibiotics are used in covid actually according to the icm the indian council of medical research from 10 hospitals showed that covid patients acquired this drug resistant infections in hospitals and the mortality rate is almost 50 to 60% the real impact of this drug is that is to Uh, in patients can be determined when laboratory reports are connected with the clinical outcome and other thing the absolute lack of the life saving value of antibiotics may come back to the haunt which is we need these drugs for bacterial infections and the, until the changes in icmr guidelines last week they told that the azithromycin antibiotic was routinely prescribed for all the covid patients even though there is no proper evidence this is helpful or not but the they are be this azith thromycin has been prescribed and in conclusion we can say that there is more awareness is needed a multi stakeholder approach involving this private industry the philanthropic group citizen activist is needed and pharmaceutical industries must take it upon themselves to distribute the drugs in a responsible manner and the stakeholders must appreciate the only way to postpone the resistance is to improve hygiene and vaccination these are the only way to postpone the resistance and a mar is increasing the serious threat to the global public health that requires action across all the government sectors and the societies here we have covered it the main point of view some some things they can be asked in prelims point of view example those resistant uh, things those i have told the six uh, resistance uh, antimicrobial resistance bacteria that i have told you and other things we can frame it the global research on antimicrobial resistance this report is also important these things they can ask in prelims if you have any doubts and queries just tell us in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video thank you